Hi, I'm Dustin Abbott, and I'm here today to give you a little bit of a brand review, or at least a multi-product review, in terms of a couple of different uh, microphone type options for capturing your audio from the brand Senco. Now, over the last uh, basically three months during the global pandemic with COVID-19, I have been really dealing with a lot of additional technical challenges, not just for my you know, YouTube channel where I kind of have a pattern down, but also as a pastor of a church, we have had to take all of our ministry online. And so we've been trying to record everything from devotions to music to services, um, for, to display online. And so I've been really looking at a lot of different audio options, doing a lot of streaming, and of course, doing a lot of conferences via Zoom and other type platforms. So obviously audio has become a much bigger consideration for me over the last few months. So I've actually been test driving a few different options, including a super cardio, cardioid on-camera um, microphone that uh, I'll explore here in just a moment to try to up the game when it comes to recording on-camera type uh, type sound. And that's been particularly important when trying to capture in environments like a church, for example, and wanting a mix that isn't, that has a little bit of a live quality. You know, you can get a feed right out of a, a mixer, but unless you actually have some processing as a part of that process, you will end up uh, having sound that seems kind of flat, you know, particularly for a live uh, type setting. And it's really uh, noticeable if you're doing music in any way. So having a good onboard microphone as a part of the mix has been essential. And so uh, I've been looking at that. I've also been looking at the lapel mic that I'm wearing right now. So obviously a lapel mic is indispensable for the kind of work that I do because uh, I need you know audio that's close to me that's going to eliminate a lot of environmental sounds, particularly if I'm filming outdoors. But even here, I'm typically shooting around my own house. And so over the last three months, it's uh, people are around all the time because of the lockdown. And so typically I use a lapel mic that records to my phone. So then you got to take that file off the phone. You've got to sync it up in post uh, with your video. And for some of my team that was helping out with church related things, that was just a little bit too, too many steps, a little too complex. And so we started to experiment with some wired lapel mics. And so also, you know, some that are split into a Y so you can have two mics to do like interview type things. And so in that case, these kind of mics are useful because you're getting a file that's just synced right into the camera. It's already synced up with the video file. And so you can just take it and run with it. So obviously that's useful. Or if you're live streaming, it's useful to have, have that. And so what we're going to do is we're going to explore sound quality here for a second. And then I'm just going to look at the features and give you a, a verdict on it. So as far as sound quality, obviously you can hear what it sounds like on lapel. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to strip off the lapel. I'm going to use the D. 30 on camera microphone. We'll take a listen to that. Okay, so here's how the audio sounds with the D30 mounted on camera. And the camera is approximately two, two and a half meters, around eight feet from me at this point. So here's how it compares to the on camera audio using the built in mics on a Sony A9 camera. So as you can see, pretty broad range of of sound quality and so and what we're getting is is a good sound quality with a relatively inexpensive microphone in these let's take a quick look at the feature set because there are some unique features that i actually really like about the the Synco mics and so we'll jump in and look hands-on at what you're getting in these microphones so let's take a closer look at what we are getting for our money. First of all, as uh, far as the D30 goes, you have a really, really nice carrying case here that gives you great protection value and uh, both inside and out. So you do have your uh, kind of dead cat uh, wind cheater that comes, you can slide on there to cover up that. And so it um, comes with that. You've got a few different cables that come. Now our main port here is USB-C. So USB-C for uh, charging and you get 10 to 12 hours. So I do like having a built-in battery that you don't have to worry about you know, replacing, certainly not like a nine volt, like I've encountered some uh, with some earlier mics. You also have two different USB to 3.5 millimeter cables for two different purposes. Uh, I have mostly used the one that goes to a 
camera here. And so obviously that is going to be a, it's a valuable length cord for that. I do have a little bit of a criticism or at least a suggestion. I would like to see also a 3.5 millimeter extension cable included because obviously if you're not using it right on camera, it, this cable is not useful enough to use for hardly any other kind of application. And so you are gonna need an extension if you're wanting to use it for some other purpose. Your other cable here is for if you're gonna connect into a phone or a tablet. And so you need a little bit different signal coming through there. And so you have two, and another suggestion here is there isn't that I've seen any kind of visual distinction between these two cables. So what I do is I keep one of them uh, kind of bound up and the other I keep loose. And so I can tell the difference because otherwise it's a little bit difficult. Now I let's look at a few things as far as the microphone uh, mounting and so obviously it comes with a mount to go like a cold shoe type mount. Now you do have two different tensions here. One will allow you to slide back and forth which can be valuable. Let's just slide it on here. Could be valuable if you're working on a gimbal for example and you're wanting to set a balance or you know even physical balancing it and so you know that is a nice a little feature to have just to have a little bit of versatility. We also are threaded here with an adapter so you can go either if you remove the adapter to the top of a light pole but then also a standard thread like for a quick release plate or a tripod and so again outside of the limitation of the cable if you have a more flexibility in cable this also actually doubles up nicely as uh, for example for video conferencing or a microphone at your desktop because you can get it nice and close if you have the extension cable, obviously. Now, as far as the actual physical controls, there are two buttons here. One is uh, just holding down to turn the power on and off. If you click that again, it actually will have a circuit overload that we'll put in there that will allow you to, if you just, your sound is peaking too high, you can actually have an overload, a circuit that is enabled for that. Other two options are, there are a two different uh, low pass cutoffs here at 75 or 150 uh, Hertz there. And so it just gives you a little more flexibility for that. And then also a feature that I really like is that you do have a gain control right on the microphone all the way from a plus 15 to a minus 10. Just gives you a lot of versatility depending on your source that you're feeding to and your environment uh, of controlling your sound right there in a quicker fashion than for example going into the menu on a camera. Other thing that I really like here is that you have a headphone monitoring port, which is not a typical feature that I've seen on these and can be a really, really useful as a part of that. So a lot of uh, you know little features that set it apart. As you can see, it's got the slots throughout for allowing both heat dissipation and then also your sound. And so, and as you've already heard, good sound quality there. Positives there. Also, let's take a quick look at our um, the Lav S6M. So for standard, you've got a long cable, about 15 feet or so, and so give you a little bit of versatility on that. You've got a few different options to give you some versatility for what you connect into. And so if you're going to connect into a camera, you're gonna want TRS, and so you use the uh, adapter here. That doesn't change, It's they're both 3.5 millimeters, but it does change the signal gain coming in. And then you have, uh, if you're going into like a phone or a tablet, you want the TRRS and use that end. You've also got the option to go into a quarter inch. So you could go right into a mixer. I've actually used this with a drum box for uh, getting the sound from the drum box. Um, you know, like a, they call it a Cajun drum box. You actually beat on it. So sound going in through that, going into a mixer through quarter inch. So I like the versatility that comes there. Also here, once again, we have got a a built-in battery so it's easily rechargeable with a micro USB um, on and off you get again you get about 10 to 12 hours worth of record time and you have also a headphone monitoring jack on this which I don't know that I've ever seen that on one of these labs and so I like that other thing I like is you've got a more functional clip than some of my microphones I've used take a look at this one for example the two things here. First of all, the clip is not all that functional. The second thing is, is that it actually runs off of a like calculator watch type battery. And so when it goes dead, 
you have issues and if you don't have a battery on hand, you're out of luck. In this case, it's really easy to just recharge that and to use it. It also comes with a few extra accessories, extra clip if you need that and uh, a few other things. And so considering you get the pouch, you get all of these accessories and a low price point, a lot of value for money. So as you can see, some genuinely useful features. I really like the fact of being able to have a built-in battery where it can be charged and so you're not worrying about a battery replacement. I've used uh, onboard uh, camera or on-camera mics before that have used, you know, like a nine volt battery, which is, you know, they're not cheap and it's a bit of a pain if your battery goes dead. Being able to easily charge this in a way that I'm charging all kinds of things at this point is simple. And then likewise, you know, not having to use a watch type battery or a calculator battery in a lapel mic, also useful there. So I like that. I like the ability to monitor um, the audio with the headphone jack out. I also really like having a gain control on the on camera type microphone because it just gives you flexibility in a variety of situations. So all of those have been a positive things for me. I can't give you a verdict as to the long-term reliability if you're using these kind of this kind of gear often there are stress points that show up and so I can't really give you a verdict on that but I can say that over the process of using for about five weeks now. I haven't had any problems. And so anyway, I can give you a good report on that. If you want to check out more information about these, pretty inexpensive, particularly this lapel mic assembly. It's, I think it's a, it's a fantastic value for money. Um, here in Canada, it's only about 31 bucks. And so under that in US dollars, that's a lot of bang for your buck. And then a little over 200 Canadian for the onboard microphone, the D30. And, um, you know, so you're going to get that under $200 in the U.S. market. And so, again, I think it's pretty fair value for money. You might want to check it out. If you want more information, take a look in the links down below and you can explore that a little bit more thoroughly. I'll also give you a link to the, uh, the Cinco website if you want to explore that a little bit more there. As always, you can also find linkage to follow me on social media or to become a patron sign up for my newsletter. And of course, if you haven't already, please click that subscribe button right here on YouTube. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.